In these examples of linear inequalities, we're just going to add a couple more steps. Again, no big deal. You solve these just like you would solve a linear equation, with the one exception that if you multiply or divide both sides by a negative, the inequality symbol is going to flip around. So let's look at this one. Really, the first thing you should do is to figure out how do you want to and where do you want to put your variable terms, right? I suggest that you move your variable terms in such a way so that you have a positive coefficient. So if I want to do that, I need to subtract 3x from both sides of the inequality. Now remember, subtracting does not institute that change in your inequality, so it's going to stay just as it is. So we combine these guys, that's 2x plus 4. That's still less than or equal to negative 82. So you got all the variables to the left, time to move the constants to the right, so we're going to subtract 4. And so now we have 2x. This is still less than or equal to because I'm just subtracting, not dividing. And I get negative 86. All right, we're almost there. Last step of getting x by itself is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Now, don't get thrown off. We're dividing, and there is a negative that's involved here. But remember the rule states that if you multiply or divide by a negative, the inequality symbol changes directions. But we're dividing by a positive, too. So since we're dividing by a positive number, the inequality is going to remain as less than or equal to. And negative 86 divided by 2 is negative 43. Now before we just stop here and go on, let's make sure that we write our answer the right way. Most of the time, in my math, they're going to say uh, choose the correct graph for the solution set. Okay, So um, let's go ahead and graph this. So it says less than or equal to, so that means we're going to be including this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. And then I'm going to be shading to the left because it says x, our solutions are less than negative 43. So it's going to look like that. And so the way that we express our interval notation is from left to right. So we're coming from negative infinity going up to negative 43. And we stop. So parentheses on the negative infinity Parentheses always on infinity. Uh, and since we are including negative 43, we're going to use a bracket. And so this is how you would express your solution using interval notation. Now, in my math lab, they would take the graph of this and express it just a bit differently. They would show that we are going to the left of negative 43. But instead of using open and closed circles like I do, they would just go ahead and put the bracket on the number line itself. I mean, I get that, but it's really hard to break with something that you've been doing for over 20 years, you know. So, anyway, uh, either way, it's going to be fine on an exam or an assessment with me. If I ask you to solve, I'm also going to ask you to express your answer using interval notation. All right, let's take a look at the next example. In the next example, we have 15 minus 2x is less than 7x minus 21. So if we follow what we did above, you probably want to add 2x to both sides because by doing so, that gives you a positive coefficient for your variable term, which is almost always a good thing. All right, so we have 15. This is still going to be less than because I'm not multiplying or dividing by negative. And then I need to move the 21 to the other side. Again, there's really nothing different here from what you've done with linear equations. The only time you have to really be concerned is if you end up multiplying or dividing by a negative. So adding 2x or adding 21 is not cause for changing the direction of the inequality, so it stays as less than. Your final step is to get this x by itself, and we divide both sides by 9. On the left side we have 4, 
is less than x. Now, writing it like this can cause us problems, just in terms of the orientation and how we read things. Typically, when we're trying to solve an inequality, we read it from a different direction. We tend to read this from the perspective of x. So this says that 4 is less than x. But going backwards, that means that x is greater than 4. And so I think having it in that perspective makes it a lot easier for us to go to the graph and then from there go to the interval notation. Alright, so here is 4. That's what I care about. Greater but not equal to, so that's going to be an open circle. And greater is going out to the right. Interval notation for this is going to say that you go from 4 to the right is toward infinity. Since we are not including 4, it's going to be parentheses and always parentheses on infinity. Now there is another way that we could have solved this inequality. So let's see what happens if we do it the other way. And by the other way, I mean what if we move the variable term to the left side, right? I mean that's where we had it here at the end anyway. Maybe that's what we should have done at the very beginning. So let me subtract 7x on both sides. So minus 7x, minus 7x, like that. And yet, while we're here, let's just go ahead and do that step of moving the constant to the other side by subtracting 15. And subtract 15. A lot of negatives here, but I am not dividing or multiplying times a negative, so it should still be good. So this gives me negative 9x is less than negative 36. And the last step that I take to get x by itself is to divide both sides by negative 9. And it's here that I'm now dividing by a negative, which means this inequality is going to go from being less than to greater than. And negative divided by negative is positive, so we have positive 4. And that's the same answer that I have right here which means it's going to have the same graph and the same interval notation. So in this problem and in all problems, make sure that you watch your signs. Be very careful to notice whenever you are multiplying or dividing by a negative as opposed to when you're just subtracting. The subtraction here doesn't change anything. It's when you do the division by negative or multiplication by negative that the inequality symbol is going to flip around.